Okay, folks, it's been a couple months since I did a video on the observation hive, and boy has it grown. The colony is doing really well. Uh, I've been watching for swarm cells the last couple weeks, and I've found a queen cup, but it hasn't been loaded yet. And for those of you that don't understand that, that would be there's no egg placed in the queen cup. And the queen cup is on the other side, but here we'll start at the top frame here and just kind of work our way down. You can see the the brood pattern, which the first brood pattern of the spring, she laid it out and then as it hatched, she come back in and started filling holes with eggs. So it looks kind of patchy there, but there has been new eggs put in there. Uh, we've got drones. There's a couple of the boys right here. Uh, we've got some nice food stores going on. I'm trying to get my headlamp in the right angle each time and it just doesn't cooperate for me. There we go, maybe that's what I needed. So uh, we'll go down to the next frame because it is three frames, three deep frames. The next frame also covered in bees. You can see uh, Larva in some of them holes should be capped off any day now. And down here at the bottom, if you remember my video there, there a while back I did an observation hive video. Removed this bottom frame and replaced it with a, another deep frame that holds two mini nuke frames. Well, since then, they have uh, got that laid out and brewed and capped off. And here on this other one here, the same thing. And if you remember before, at the bottom, there was a, a space between these mini nuke frames and the bottom of the deep frame. Well, they've since drawn that out in comb, which looks like drone comb. Yeah, it definitely looks like drone comb, the size of the cells versus the size of the cells right above it. So, uh, that's this side. Let's turn it around and take a look at the other side. Okay, here's the other side. As you can see, they've started to bring in lots of honey. They've capped this whole corner off up here. They've added to the comb that I had removed some of last fall, built this whole section built these three little things. So that tells me that there's actually too much space on this side of the observation hive between the frames and the glass. So uh, that's just a good thing to note. Um, you can see starting to draw comb over here. You can also see that if I get in here a little closer we got brood everywhere. There, There's another drone. Uh, we got drone cells, or yeah, drone cells right here, and they're the cap cells that stick up away from the frame, straight out. Those are drone cells. You can see I've got a pretty good selection of them going here. So this would be a good colony to have around if you were doing a lot of, of uh, queen rearing. It's good to have a good... All right, here's my queen. to think this is a queen that I raised if you had seen my have seen my uh, how to graft queen bees video that is the the process I used to get this bee that I raised here and you can see all of her attendants coming in to take care of her because she has been a very very hard worker laying all of these eggs down here you can see what looks like complete chaos in traffic and what that is if I back out here a little bit is that's how they're getting up here to bring in the nectar they're coming in across the bottom and right up the side so if you could imagine your beehive outside this is how it would look on the inside when the bees are coming in when 
kind of interesting. So here we've got worker comb. Here we've got drone. You can see the different size of the cells. It's pretty uh, obvious there. Here we've got bees festooning, and that's usually a sign that they're getting ready to draw comb. So uh, everything's booming here in the observation hive, and I. So I wanted to share this. I haven't shared the observation hive in a while. If you like these videos, subscribe. Thanks for watching JC's Bees.